5 o'clock in the morning and we're making our way to the train station to go to Heathrow Airport. So this is the first time for me to fly with Emirates and unfortunately the flight was delayed. So you can see everyone is bored but fortunately 30 minutes later we started to board the plane. Now how cute is that golden luggage right there? So once everything was settled, I was waiting for the flight attendants to start their instructions. But I was surprised to learn that everything is now done via the screens in front of our seats. I initially thought that it was all in Arabic which I don't understand. But fortunately, there was another set of the video right after all in English. About an hour and a half later, the first set of food was served. So I was having the cheese pastry. I've got a muffin, water, strawberry yogurt, and I asked for both coffee and apple juice. So I thought I was going to be sleeping on this flight. But when I checked their in-flight entertainment, there was more than 50 of the latest movies so I just had to start watching them. So here I was pretending to be a frequent flyer, totally undisturbed, enjoying my movie and my pastry. And this is their toilet, which was very clean, with cups and with a very fragrant set of lotion and hand wash. And finally, around 2.30 in the afternoon, we were served our lunch I had chicken biryani, cheese and crackers, salad, there's an orange cream de liz as well, water, butter with a plain bread, and a cookie. Now I'm trying the orange cream de liz. And as you can see from my face, it was delish. The next thing I knew, we were landing in Dubai. We've arrived at Dubai and it's very hot. <laughs> I was surprised when we went out of the plane. It's very, very hot. Even inside the airport. So it's my first time here. Oh, there's a toilet. I'm gonna go there. And then I'm just gonna follow the signs to connections. So now I'm just following the signs for connecting flights. Um, by the way, that was my first ever Emirates flight. In the past, I've had experience with Philippine Airlines and China Air, and this is my first Emirates flight. And to be fair, it was a very good flight. And I thought I was gonna be bored, but actually they've got like the latest movies and series that I haven't watched yet. So I was awake the whole time. <laughs> and watching so i watched white lotus i watched nope which is the ufo movie and who was the first one that i watched um uh, the one by spielberg fabelman which is very nice as well yeah it was a good flight actually i wanted to sleep i felt tired but then i didn't fall asleep i was just watching okay let me find my area where i can sit down and have some dinner so it looks like we are going to queue up again for another security check. Um, unlike in the past, I don't know which country it was, but we had a layover. And as long as you were within the internal security, you didn't need to go through it again. But this one, they're quite strict. Look, we're gonna do another security check. And we're finished with the security check. They are actually less strict. We didn't. Um, Asked me to pick up my laptop and iPad, so very, very quick. 
very efficient. Ang laki pala ng pre-departure area nila. Like, I can see from one end to the other end. Unlike sa Heathrow na there was just like WH, Myth, Costa, na ganun, mga four shops lang. Dito, ala, ang haba ng ano, strip of shops, mga branded, mga Chanel, mga Dior, Poland Shark, I don't know that brand. Dami! People, let's see. Okay, so our boarding gate is gate letter C, but it will be like six hours from now. So we're gonna have dinner first. They actually just came from duty free, <laughs> smelling the different perfumes, the original ones. Um, I've actually got the dupe ones from a different store back in the UK because it's too expensive. But I just wanted to smell what the original actually smelled like. <coughs> Ooh, food. Let's go forward and have some food for dinner. I'm just appreciating this tea set mm -hmm. in pure gold and in silver, which I can't afford. And the treats that Middle East is known for, which is their amazing dates. It is just after 8 p.m. and as you can see, there are no employees, but everything is on display. And they've got this Asian food strip. So I just exchanged um, five pound coins in the foreign exchange counter, and it's actually 21.25 dirhams. And the guy actually, he just gave me 21, but on the receipt is 21.25. <laughs> I'm like, where's the 25? He tried to shortchange me, you know. Buti na lang may Pinoy na sa kabilang pa counter. Tapos, ayun, binigyan ako ng additional 25. I don't know what is the centavo equivalent. Basta, 0.25 dirham. So, bilhin na tayo ng McDo sa McCafe. Ito pala yung itsura ng dirham. Eh. So, I just bought this uh, mocha sa McDo. And then, I met, there's a lot of Filipinos here actually working as staff. Then one, I asked one of the staff kung meron bang water fountain so I can refill my water bottles. Tapos, hindi ko na din yung uh, Gate C. Apparently, Gate C is in a completely different building na kailangan ka pala magbabas. Sabi niya, malayo-layo pa so you, you better start walking. Although, matagal pa naman yung flight ko, I don't wanna leave it until the last minute. So, I will follow her signs and apparently you still have to take bus, airport bus, to go to gate C. Okay, let's go. Guys, I'm lucky ng lift nila. <laughs> I'm going to take the lift down to the train to go to um, boarding gate C. Look, this is their lift. Their lift is so big, you can fit in like a king size bed. I think this is almost as big or if not bigger than my room in the UK. <laughs> I'm amazed by their lift, by the way, if it's not obvious yet. So I think I need to get another lift. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Alright, I think this is the train going to gate C. Okay, so I think this is the gate to the train so that I can go to boarding gate C. So. We're just waiting now. Cheers! I've got this carriage all to myself. And this is how the airport train carriage looks like. Mostly standing with a bit of seating areas. Very clean, no graffiti or any dirt at all. So I, after three minutes, I arrived uh, and got off the train, and now there's another lift that we have to take <laughs> to go to see. Yeah, 
sa fifth floor pala yung gate C tapos it's not even there yet you have to walk again <laughs> to departure gate C ang haba naman ito doon na naman going there grabe ang layo pala this is like the fourth walking escalator that I've been in and we still haven't reached letter C <laughs> I've been walking for like 8 minutes now with the walking escalator I don't know if that's what you call it but yeah it's quite a long way so don't delay yes bababa na naman guys saan na ba talaga tong C ngayon bababa naman anilito na kasi <laughs> Ang layo, parang nag square formation lang tayo. Wala bang shortcut from arrival to see derecho? Dami ikot, promise. Ah, <sighs> so <laughs> I'm finally here um, in the C area. I think this is gates. 1 to 16 so I've asked a few people for what specific um, C boarding gate because there are up to C50 boarding gates so it's quite a big area um, but according to um, one of the stewardess uh, that was with me on the walk later it will be from any of these gates between 1 to 15 so I'll stay in this area so if you are doing a connecting flight from UK going to Dubai then going to Cebu um, make sure you don't dilly dally when you first come out of departures you go into you go back into security um, inspection after that there's like loads of shops duty free and all of that but that is um, just one of many duty-free shops and you might be far very very far from your gate so for flights to Cebu um, Mumbai and I don't know the rest but if your <laughs> if your flight um, is departing from sea then make sure you make your journey right away because it's very very far it took I think about 20 minutes and that's with the help of a train plus a walker later about eight of them um, also when you're here in the C section there is a flight of stairs or escalators going down and there's a whole duty-free shop anyway so you can do your shopping within the C section so now it's time for me to have a rest and have my dinner so this is the massive duty-free floor just below boarding gate C. And they have this amazing and very helpful lounging chairs underneath palm trees where you can have a lie down and rest. Okay, so it's quarter past midnight here at Dubai so they have posted the specific departure gate for our flight to Cebu so that would be for gate C2 and we are making our way there now all right my stomach is so painful i am bloated i've been to the toilet several times with nothing but air coming out it's 1 18 in the morning and we are still waiting for our gate to be open or or boarding what I've noticed as well even if at the, it's after midnight all the shops are still open I think they are 24 hours and all the it's just bus, bustling um, all of the staff are present you know there's still janitors there are still um, volunteers yeah it's it's like it's morning so yeah I think it's an airport that doesn't sleep Finally, we started boarding at 2.10 in the morning. Ta-da! Finally! Last plane. 
and we will be in Cebu. <sighs> it's more than how many hours now? 8 plus 12. More than 20 hours now. I'm just saying. I need to sleep on this flight. I'm finally back to Cebu. I actually, I feel emotional. I feel like <laughs> I want to cry. It's been such a long time. Aww. And also, no one is here to fetch me because it's a surprise for my mom because I gave her a wrong day. But it's, yeah, it's really, feels good. <sighs> Welcome back to myself. <laughs> Welcome back to Cebu. First time to pass through immigration with a British passport. <laughs> and I think it's quite quick and the queue is not too long. Ang ganda na ng Mactan Airport, meron na ding water station, parang sa Dubai at saka sa UK. Na for um, every toilet area sa labas, meron water station. And it's so wide, so maliwalas. Ganda na, I'm proud of it. 